I designed these machines for production. I did not design these machines to sell. If you guys wanna know why our machines are better, it's because they're faster, period. If you guys want production, you need speed that's gonna match the power. We designed the speeds of each machine to match the power of each machine. So if I wanted to sell the most number of machines, I would just throw a huge resonator, 20 kilowatt, 50 kilowatt, on a really slow, cheap frame to build. And I can make all these cool videos about the machine cutting really thick, crazy, beefy material. But as soon as I took a video of it cutting some thin, light sheet metal, if you know what you're looking at, you're gonna realize that thing is a slug. I didn't wanna produce any slugs. So when I designed and engineered these tables, I have the speed of the table increases as the power increases. Speed on lasers and pretty much most CNC machines is measured in G's. G-forces are how many times the force of gravity your machine can accelerate and decelerate. So when you go into a corner, you're driving your car, you've got to slow down to approach the corner, you make your turn, and then you've got to speed back up out of the corner, right? So that's where these machines have trouble. You have this huge heavy gantry, and you need to move this thing around the table at a speed that matches your, your power. What that looks like for us is the one kilowatt to three kilowatt machines are designed with one and a half Gs of acceleration. The four kilowatt to six kilowatt machines are designed with two Gs of acceleration. And the 12 kilowatt to 20 kilowatt machines are designed with four Gs of acceleration. And that's what I mean when the machines are designed for production, not sales. It's not the cheapest machine you can build, guys. It's not the cheapest machine you can buy. They're not made to be the cheapest machine. I designed Hero Machine Co. to compete with 600,000 to million dollar lasers at a way lower price point that was affordable for most shops. I know that once people understand these features and what this does for your business, it's gonna make a lot of sense because the faster machine means you get more parts done in less hours, more sheets throughout the day, which lowers your unit cost to your customers, increases your throughput through your shop, and increases your profit margin, and shortens that time it takes to pay that machine back. So if you get a slow machine, it might take you a year and a half to pay it off. If you're cutting twice the number of sheets in the same number of hours, all of a sudden that ROI calculation gets cut in half. So I design these machines for production, not for sales. I'm just having faith that people are gonna eventually figure this out and see the advantage of these tables and what I've done here with the design. So I put together a nice little smattering of different materials, different thicknesses, to show you guys what those speeds actually look like. I also confirm the speeds in the factory with an independent accelerometer because a lot of these companies will state speed but they don't actually achieve that speed. If I'm gonna put it on the spec sheet, I'm gonna make sure you guys are actually getting that speed and we do it with an accelerometer. We went positive 2.1 and negative two. So that's 4.1 Gs. That is blazing fast. That's running at 95 meters per minute. So I ran this little test here where we mounted an accelerometer in the factory and we torture tested this machine to make sure that we could reach actual 4 Gs of realized speed, not should, does. So this machine can run 4 Gs of acceleration and it looks like really, really fast cutting everywhere you go, every single material, every single thickness. They're all getting cut faster. This is not the cheaper chicken, guys. This is the Porsche at the Volkswagen price. That's the whole point of Hero Machine Co. is we're getting you guys super, super capable, fast running machines that are super stable, high quality, lots of support from yours truly, this guy right here. I'm gonna be answering the phone. I'm gonna be coming to your shop and installing the thing. I'm gonna train you on how to use it, and I'm gonna be the call you make when you have problems.